Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is May 7th, 2023, 1 p.m. Pacific West Coast, Canada, United States. And we're back to our map, part five. In a short period of time, there's been a fair bit of changes taking place from the last time we uh, left this map from the last time we looked at this map. Um, so I thought we'd, uh, and it's not that there's many of them, but they're crucial, right? So I thought it was a good time just to visit back here and uh, see what's taking place, uh, what the chess pieces, as Brzezinski would call it, the grand chessboard, how it's changed and what pieces have been uh, played and uh, what the board looks like now because it's going to change faster and faster as uh, well in the coming years uh, i don't think there's a doubt in that really uh, most people should be aware of uh, how uh, i don't want to say severe but how important this period in history is uh, aside from that i'm going to do my little intro while we wait for notifications to go out and people to roll in good day fellow map friends in deep plutonic polaris welcome welcome hope you're doing well it, it's interesting like serious changes took place in a matter of a few weeks right finish dude hello hello salutations salutations welcome to another live stream gang if you want to follow this work we are on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o we also have a Substack page and a subscribe star page for those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, on Substack, and on Twitch, where we're live streaming, gang, thank you very much for the support. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this, as well as the support we're getting from a handful of people that are supporting this work on uh, SensorTube um, membership. Gang, thank you very much for the support on these platforms and all the support we're getting from all the other platforms. This is a sort of a map live stream, so um, geopolitics. So we should be able to load this full live stream onto SensorTube. Uh, I hope so anyway, because the other four we did load on SensorTube. We stayed away from certain topics that uh, SensorTube doesn't allow us to talk about because we, we do cover enough of those in the other live streams, the current events live streams and whatnot. Um, by the way, what's taking place here is related to what we're not allowed to discuss on sensor tube mr brain freeze how are you doing i cheat joe good to see you good to see you as well mr brain freeze it's been a while i think it's been a while lark bark hey hey you all and holy shit what's up dude chicho how you doing <laughs> lark bark hope you're doing well <laughs> great shirt chicho thanks thanks i like this shirt i like this shirt i'm not 100 sure where i got it from i don't know where i got it from it's a happy shirt, <laughs> little, little, you know, touristy trees in California, which is basically on the verge of collapse. It's crazy, crazy stuff. Gang, we do announce these live streams, 35 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour before we go live. And Twitter minds, VK Gap, Getter, and I do announce them on uh, Substack notes as well. Emersonic. Hello once again, Chicho and Chad. Hope everyone has having a great Sunday. Indeed, indeed. Our, it's sunny where we are now. It's nice. Uh, sort of spring is rolling in. I already got some tomatoes into the into the ground. Into our pots anyway. J Pow. Hello, Chicho and all. Salutations, J Pow. Elder God in the house. Elder God, hope you're doing well. Thank you very much, brother. Eduardo, howdy, howdy. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> like your little doggy video on gilded gang we do have a gilded server you're definitely welcome to join us there and share whatever you want <laughs> even portuguese uh love uh, doggy love videos in a good way in a in a respectful way <laughs> not in a censored way right uh like where tell me about it it's um da -da -da. I'm from Cal. Oh, are you in California, Lark Bark? Damn, it's crazy, California. <laughs> like, what? A and by the way, like seriously, 
in Cali, right? California being home of Hollywood and Silicon Valley as well, right? Before it was home of Silicon Valley, basically we used to we used to travel to California a lot, right? We used to go to we're here. We used to go we used to drive there a lot. I five is beautiful. <laughs> After driving that once once we drove it without sleep, boo, going across, shoo, right? Or going down. Name of the game was here in Canada. Whatever happened in California came to Canada, came to Vancouver, came to the West Coast, took about five years, right? California is collapsing. And California to a degree sent it sets the trend definitely for what happens on the west coast of canada or all of canada really because it would occur in canada as well and it also sets the trend for the rest of the united states of america california is collapsing you figure it out right oh the god the woke coast ah it's hijacked it's crazy california used to be very independent individualistic and people just doing whatever they want da, 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 all this jazz all of a sudden you got complete fascio, fascio communist regime taking over California. Very weird, very weird. Nourish. Hey, yeah, everybody. Hello, Nourish. How are you doing? Welcome to our live stream. Plutonic Polaris. You need mental border security towards Wokefornia. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, Cali, Cali's in trouble. It is. I know because I have family there as well, right? Um, there's some stuff going on. They lost, I think, how many? 600,000 people last year? Like, people moving out of Cali. People used to go into Cali. Like, California population going up. It's like 40 million, 39 million, 40 million population in California. And it's fairly large, right? And if people are moving out, then how are they keeping the housing prices so inflated? Some places it's not. It's already come down like 30% and whatnot, right? We see, we see, we see, we see. Oh, God. Well, California has always been the serial kill capital of America. Has it been? Crazy, crazy. And gang, for live streams, when we don't have any visuals, we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chichos a podcast. Right now, I'm going to be moving around. We've got visuals going on, so no audio recording. At some point, I'll take you know all the audio from the live streams and upload them to SoundCloud as podcast. I, sh I should be doing that anyway. But uh, we're limited on time. We're limited on time. We see where we can take it. Gang, welcome to another live stream. I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. Let's talk geopolitics and discuss the grand chessboard. What I had in mind anyway were the reason I set this up, right? The two main areas, two main pieces really that have changed or, yeah, changed really. Lark Bartel God, good call, buddy, indeed. Woke Coast, Gavin New. I don't understand how that guy is still in power. Newsom is a totalitarian shield. Yeah, indeed. I have no idea. I know a lot of people don't participate in uh, politics in California. Elio Carb is following. Salutations. Eli, Eli Carb. Eli Carb, am I not pronouncing that right? Salute. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Yes, Elder, but it has Plutonic Mars. Yes, Elder, but it has its dark sides too. Beat Shalom, Shalom. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Gang for my snacks. Broccoli backwards. Broccoli. <laughs> you're the anti broccoli. <laughs> That's awesome. Broccoli backwards. Elicorb. Elicorb. Broccoli backwards. I love it. <laughs> Hilarious. Larry Mark. Gavin Newsom is an awful and the absolute worst governor we ever had. Yeah, I would I would, I would agree. It's, it's like, what? It's like, it's like Trudeau. But Trudeau's worst. <laughs> Gavin Newsom. Trudeau makes... In Canada, it just makes your skin crawl. Like, oh, you know, oh, it's just disgusting, right? Gavin Newsom, you just get angry at the guy, right? Trudeau, you feel violated just listening to the guy, right? 
Prowler Ranger, given the opportunity to recall him and still didn't uh, take it. Yeah, I didn't take it by long shot, right? Uh, SMH, most Californian voters are NPCs. Yeah, they don't, most, Calif most people in California don't give a rat's ass, really. I'm talking LA. I, I used to, I've been to San, San Fran, I have family there, stayed there for a couple of months, uh, you know, back in 94. So, But we used to go to LA a lot. People in LA don't give a rat's ass. It's it's the most superficial con city place I've been to. Like we used to have, I I knew people. I knew, there's still people. They drive around with two hundred thousand dollar cars, Mercedes, BMW, top notch, and whatever you want, right? They got big big ass houses, right? Everything credit cards up the yin yang. They don't have two cents to their name, right? They. They can't even buy coffee, right? Everything's plastic. California, LA, LA, not California, because Northern California is different. Even if you go to San Diego and stuff is different. Uh, the, the little towns are different. LA, LA, Hollywood, it's just plastic. Just effing plastic, right? It's all about bling. And it doesn't matter if you own the bling or not. You just got to flash it, right? Very weird, very weird. <laughs> it was it's fun actually for a little bit of time if you're not politically inclined if you don't if you're not socially inclined like in terms of you care about society and stuff like this if you just want to have fun you got water cash you want to blow your water cash you want to blow whatever else you just want to have a blast uh, california and then you know you drive over to go to vegas it's fun, but man, you can't live like that. That's crazy. Crazy. Eduardo Chicho stream has a lot of interesting nicknames. My favorite at the moment is Romantic Fox to KFC. Also, <laughs> I love his name too. Lark Park, yeah, precisely. Gavin Newsom is our Justin Trudeau, indeed. Damn materialistic, very materialistic. California is so materialistic so materialistic it, and it's it's raw there's a lot of raw elements to it as well right it's, seriously there's a lot of amazing stuff in la area and stuff like this but i got my issues with with cali uh lark bark prowler to prowler ranger most californians love riding the blue wave as for me i think much differently i voted for the recall of gavin neoliberal newsome yeah yeah i can't believe like the guy like it wasn't even close it wasn't even close i don't you know what maybe maybe people that really want to live in california they want california to collapse that way housing prices uh fall right brett slinger 91 thank you very much for the sub sub tier one 21 months currently at a 20 month streak salutation beard slinger hello chicho i hope you're doing well today indeed indeed salute yeah my my guess is maybe people in california want california to collapse that way the astronomical cost of living will plummet right maybe that's what they're hoping for i know some of the people I know, they, that's not what they're hoping for because, you know, they're doing okay, right? But those people who aren't, who don't have, because California used to be able to buy houses and stuff cheap, right? It, the cost of living, like we used to go to from west coast of Canada to California, man, it was so cheap. Holy cow. Compared to Canada, even with the exchange rate, U.S. exchange rate, things were ridiculously cheap Ch food was cheap gas was cheap going out to clubs was expensive if you were going to high-end clubs right you know drinks were same price as in canada but actually more but in u.s dollars but the cost of living was cheap if you if you knew how to do it right right plutonic porous material girl is okay but nihilistic consumerism is empty i guess yeah Oh my god, I've just recently stopped vomiting from the coronation on Sunday. 
hilarious. The best meme I saw, the best meme I saw, they were showing Charles's hands and they were saying, uh, everybody's suffering from inflation, something along those lines. Because his hands are like the Michelin thing, right? Some kind of disease he's got. <sighs> Prowler Ranger. Everyone I spoke, spoke to in Europe said they are afraid to come back to the United States for vacation because they think the cost of living in Cali is the standard here. Yeah, I don't know. Now, some places in the U.S. I think is really cheap, right? Plutonic Polaris, water turnoff or Newsom recall was about 58%. About 8 million of 22 million California potential voters voted for the uh, continuation of Newsom scheme. Yeah, crazy. Backwards broccoli. <laughs> says cost of living seems to be going up everywhere in the world yeah yeah in canada is it through the roof california uh, canada's through the roof really just yogurt alone in where the yogurt i used to buy and i still do buy has in one year it's gone up 50 percent right cost of yogurt has increased let's say two years it's gone up 50 percent right i've already told people uh, regarding uh, my tutoring for math and physics i've already told them i'm kicking up my prices uh next year i might even kick kick them a lot higher uh, we'll see we'll see black park californians aren't that bright and this is coming from a lifelong californian I, they're, they're they're wise in their way in different ways uh there's a lot of street wisdom in california uh a lot of wisdom and corruption uh, how to handle bureaucracy it's corrupt as fuck california is so corrupt it's insane right a culture and civilization not for everybody <laughs> hawks no hawks it's all the god culture and civilization is not for everybody <laughs> all the god i think is trying to burn you <laughs> plutonic plurist monarchy has its advantages but a woke king is not what we need today yeah i don't i royalty i do not like that's my take prowler ranger way cheaper in midwest and southeast uh, even florida and texas uh, when compared to california yeah yeah california used to be one of the cheapest places you go you used to go to as, as far as i know because we used to we used to go there a fair bit we used to go there a fair bit california talk california talk by the way california at one point used to be the seventh if it was a country it would be considered to be the seventh largest uh economy in the world i believe it was the seventh or fifth maybe it was fifth right like california take california you know break it off of the united states if it was a standalone country it was either the fifth or seventh largest economy in the world right this is like 20 years ago i don't know what it is now i don't know what it is now right lark park seems like california and canada have a lot in common except for the weather even though there are places in california that are cold big bear is one of them yeah 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 th there's a lot of similarities between california and uh, canada indeed indeed plutonics one maybe a new royal house should be established i i don't want royalty personally i'm not i don't think anybody is above the law because they're not accountable gang i made i made hamburgers yesterday craven and this these are burgers this is just lettuce and they got a little mustard there these are burgers i tried a new recipe my mom uh, tried it out and told me and it was a pretty good idea this is check this out so this is um ground ground beef lean okay and I put some um, with onions, chopped up onions, okay. Quinoa, right? Cooked up some quinoa, okay. Uh, shredded up some sweet potatoes, put some turmeric in here, a little bit of dried dill, okay. An egg, a couple of eggs, and four. This is, I made around 28 of these fat burgers, right? Uh, with four pounds of uh, ground beef i didn't weigh the rest i just did it by feel right um and i put a little bit of baking soda in there as well to give it the, the puffiness right really good really good T came out and a little bit of salt of course right really good burgers 
super gummy. Will do again. First time chat. Pips bish. Pips be sheeps. <laughs> love it here in germany food has gone up by 100 percent egg chicken chicken breast kilo was five euros now it's 10 euros wow 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 <laughs> thank you for the follow peeps uh 10 euros the whole world except for a few countries are all working with the wf to bring globals on all over yeah indeed we actually have friends from germany uh, not friends, uh, family from Germany visiting visiting us right now. I have my aunt here uh, visiting us from Germany. She's uh, she's been staying for about three weeks, and uh, yeah, Germany's in trouble. I mean, Germany is under attack. There's no doubt, right? The United States, in collaboration with Norway and a couple of other European countries, attacked Germany by blowing up Nord Stream One and Two right they literally attacked germany and german government said thank you so it's sort of a if this was like a personal relationship like you know a couple partners that were engaged in intimate activity you would say their kink was uh, uh what do you call it a uh, little bit of spanking going on right uh so hardcore maybe right um, because Germany just got <laughs> spanked hard, hard, and they said thank you, right? Master. And that's the way I see it. Weird. Lark bark. Um, though, as um, I should have mentioned, Bodhi is the place in California. Bodhi. Amersonic eggs are the king of food, indeed. So versatile. I'm eating um, minimum four a day now. Nice. Are you doing lots of workout, uh, Emersonic? If you're doing good weights, good workout, eggs is fantastic. Plutonic floors. During the Great Depression, many folks immigrated to uh, California. Maybe uh, in a possible new turmoil phase, it will be another uh, direction. I think so. I think this time people are escaping California. They are right now. I mean, that we know for sure. That meal looks good indeed. Super delicious. Greetings to uh greetings to Tante Chicho. Tante I don't know what Tante is. Power Power Ranger. You mean a pro Ukrainian group. Got to love Western media. Got to love Western media. Indeed. Indeed. Peru. Peru. The anti broccoli. Il Ilo Corb, Ilocorb. <laughs> can't. Dante is French for Ant. Oh, really? Cool. Ant Chicho. Greetings to Ant Chicho. Haha. <laughs> Lark bar. Correction, though. As I should have mentioned, Bodhi is officially the coldest place in California, is it? Grant. So it must be near Grant's Pass, isn't it? Or when you drive I 5? Is it? Bodhi, Re Redding, Redding, California. When you go over, Adramadas, salutations, salutations, gang. Should we talk about changes taking place? Let's do the obvious one. Okay. Now, Jesus, <laughs> what did all God say? I eat 12 eggs a day, a great source for protein and mineral. 12 eggs a day, muscle tank. <laughs> Anti broccoli is like Jesus. Uh, so let's talk geopolitics, gang. Let's talk about this world map. This is part five of what we're doing. This is part five of what we're doing, right? Uh, we start off with mapping out, uh, doing this map a couple of months ago, right? Looked at civil wars is yellow 
Red wars are actively participating in war, war zones, really. Orange is countries that are supporting war. And blue is countries that are, I don't want to say peace, but they're safe zones to go to. Safe zones to go to, right? Safe zones to go to. Things have changed. We did four updates of these, right? So we did part one, part two, part three, part four. And part four, we talked about a little bit of history, movements, and we've talked a little bit about other things as well, right? Uh, Lord Parchicho, Bodhi is the highest peak of the Sierra Nevada and White Mountains. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Great bear, big bear, big bear, not great bear, big bear. We have relatives that go to big bear to go skiing and stuff, right? They have cabins there. Um, but in the last, so the last one we did was like three weeks ago, part four, three, four weeks ago, maybe like a month ago. And things have shifted in a month, right? Things have shifted in a month. Sudan, we had marked as a civil war. And now mainstream media, corporate media is calling Sudan a civil war. We called it a civil war before they called it a civil war, right? Before it was all over the news. It's a civil war in Sudan. We need to turn Sudan red. It's now a proxy war. It's no longer a civil war because it was a civil war before this outbreak of violence that occurred recently with the two, with the militia faction going against the military faction. And Egypt has gotten involved, from what I understand. Right? Adrama, sending love to Sudanese, indeed, indeed. Right? So I think we need to change Sudan into red because it's a proxy war war full-on proxy war okay unfortunate very unfortunate very unfortunate very unfortunate uh, but it is what it is right and the reasons for this proxy war Adramas, full-on proxy, shame on the military-industrial complex, shame on the military-industrial complex. And what really kicked this into high gear was announcement that Russia had cut a deal that they were going to build a military base, naval military base, small one, on the coast of Sudan and within w not even weeks of announcing that within days of announcing that we had the full-on full-on civil war which is a proxy war kick into high gear right because us we you know we found out that the u.s military was involved there and they had met with the militia group uh, a few days before uh, hostilities the actual violence took place. Western governments were pulling out their citizens. Canada, United States, they were pulling out their citizens. Canada wasn't doing a good job. It is what it is, right? That's what, by the way, this is one of the reasons we talk about this, right? Because if you were in Sudan, watching our previous live streams, maybe, maybe uh, that would have triggered something for you to be prepared for what's coming, right? Uh, and this is going to happen many places, right? Many places. Plutonic Pluris. Is it Russia and the Sudanese officials, military versus U.S. and the militia? Um, to a degree, that's what it looks like. To a degree, that's what it looks like. And Egypt has gotten involved, gang, from what the Duran was reporting. I haven't checked into this aside from the Duran, but they do a really good job of factual they checked their resources the egyptian military was doing air raids on the militia in egypt so i don't know if we should mark egypt as red yet but if they participated in attacking the militia because egypt is a pretty pretty serious ally they, they've been they were 
under U.S. control for the longest time, right? But Egypt for the last few years, after they ousted the big um, uh, brotherhood, right? Uh, the Muslim Brotherhood, right? After the Muslim Brotherhood won the elections and they went full on crazy and wanted to go full on Islamic Republic and that didn't pan out well. So the military took over, took militaries in control. They've done a pretty good job of walking a fine line between Russia and the United States. But if they're actively participating in bombing the militia in Sudan, the militia that the United States, from the looks of it, is supporting, right? then uh, Egypt might see some turmoil breaking out as well, okay? Egypt might see some turmoil breaking out as well. Uh, Elder God, the UK is getting these British citizens from Sudan all with work visas, really? Okay. Lark Park, abolish the military industrial complex. It's a disease. Indeed. Let's see if RK Jr. is going to have a say in this. Ronnie, how are you doing? Salutations. Emersonic. When this all started in Sudan, UK radio was pushing the evacuation hard for nearly a week straight. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you could sort of feel it coming along, right? Feel it coming along. And gang, do not forget. Do not forget. Free Assange. Free Assange. Free Assange. Julian Assange, the publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to reveal information that me and you desperately need to bring transparency and accountability of Capital House power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available online. Start following the information. Look in the history of Julian Assange and listen to his speeches and his, read his writings. This is what Julian Assange is trying to prevent. Really, gang. A lot of people still don't know that the United States is still holding innocent people captive in Guantanamo Bay. 20 years on, there are still people in Guantanamo, innocent people, that they renditioned from around the world, took to Guantanamo Bay. They know they're innocent. They have nothing against them. And they've been holding them for 20 years and torturing the fuck out of them. Right? Unbelievable. Right? Elder God, Egypt is the U.S. puppet. The governor. Thank you very much for the follow. So Elder God says Egypt is U.S. puppet. I do tend to agree. I do agree. However... From what we understand, the militia is being edged on by the United States. And if Egypt conducted air raids on the militia in Sudan, something's going on. Something intricate is going on. So it's is Egypt pivoting towards Russia? If Egypt is pivoting towards Russia, they were walking sort of a fine line. There were U.S. puppets indeed. Because Egypt, I believe... Next to Israel gets the second, uh, well, when Ukraine wasn't involved, right? Aside from Ukraine, uh, if we don't count Ukraine, Egypt, I believe, got the second highest military aid next to Israel from the United States, right? For the longest time, for the longest time. But if Egypt is going to start pivoting towards Russia, then I expect the shit to hit the fan in Egypt as well soon, right? Like, for example, Turkey was pivoting towards Russia, trying to make peace with Syria, Erdogan, right? M moving towards China as well. Now, from what we're hearing is Erdogan might lose the election. I still don't think Erdogan's gonna lose the election, but he might. He's losing in the polls, he's, he's tracking in the polls, right? So, and Erdogan was shifting towards the east. All the coalition, opposition parties have got together and are going against Erdogan. And the opposition parties, I think, are more uh, Western-leaning, right? Zare, how are you doing? Salutations. 
There he is. How's it? How, how's it, Chicho? Doing good, Zari. Hope you're doing well. We talked a little about Cal about California at the beginning of the stream. We trash talked the shit out of Cali. <laughs> Zari's in California. <laughs> Anti broccoli. Wish they took with a coup. Wish they took with a coup. Indeed. No rights, Nick. Salutations. Is there a key or a command for the meaning of the different colors? Sorry, I just joined. Salutations, uh, no rights, Nick. Uh, what we have, I, sh we should, I should create a key legend. I haven't created it. Good idea. I keep on forgetting to do this. Yellow is civil war. Orange is actively participating, funding war. Red is war zones, right? And blue is safe zones. We should call it that, right? Safe zones. So blue is safe zone. Yellow is civil war. We just changed Sudan from civil war to a full-on proxy war. So red is a proxy war as well. Okay. And orange is actively participating in war. We need to take Russia down from being actively supporting war to full-on war now okay so we need to take russia down to being full-on war zone now okay uh, i think that's that should be also another thing we do uh, enzo smiles wouldn't you say america is easily the biggest warmonger on the planet yeah indeed easily in nothing nobody even comes close nobody even comes close uh from the last stream uh people mentioned united states has 800 military bases in the world how many coups have they done around the world how many puppets have they inst installed how many assassinations have they done there's no doubt the united states in collaboration with the uk by the way and european countries but in all of them united states is the uh is the active the spearheading whatever is going on easily the contributor to the largest amount of war uh the no one even comes close no one even comes close eu and us micro twist says it eu and us together i agree eu and us together but united states is the person in charge Tin Daros, thank you very much for the follow. Salutations, salut, salut. But EU has a huge part to uh, play in it, right? Like Libya got annihilated, the country with the highest standard of living in all of Africa for decades, right? The United States, in collaboration with Canada, France, and Italy, and the UK, bombed the shit out of Libya took Libya, the country with the highest standard of living in all of Africa, and this is this is huge compared to the rest of this, right? You gotta put this on a this is on a flat map. You look at this on a on a globe, these countries become much smaller, right? Northern country. This is way bigger. You can fit the United States, you can fit Canada, you can fit India, China, you can fit all of that inside of Africa, right? Highest standard of living in all of Africa to open slave markets and from here millions flooding into europe something that Gaddafi said would happen right and european countries did this so it's by design as far as i see it right the flooding of you want to call them refugees economic uh, migrants invasion some people like to call it coming into Europe was by design there's no doubt about it now there's no doubt about it it's the great replacement something that they've already talked about right plutonic plurus maybe some states like each of Saudi Arabia etc are trying to out new trying out new options beyond US uh, dependency or subpar alliance yeah indeed and aside from Sudan the other thing I wanted to really highlight is what's going on here China has stepped in and bringing negotiating peace 
between Saudi Arabia and Yemen, right? Something that the United States was fueling the war, right? China stepped in and bringing peace between Saudi Arabia and Yemen and truce between Iran and Saudi Arabia and Russia negotiating peace between Turkey, Syria, uh, Tur uh, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and Syria. Like, holy shite. This zone, this zone is turning, well, what are we going to flip it to, right? Peace treaties haven't been signed yet, officially. But what's the next stage of this if they're going from war zones to getting peace? Few, few hoisted. Theo is it? Theo who is it? Theo who is it? I lost the thing. Thank you very much for the follow. I just got the name. Didn't know if, if I pronounced it right. What should we do with that zone? I think war is going to be... I think this is going to be... The United States is going to try to change the situation in Saudi Arabia personally. Right? Egypt in 19 or Egypt, Aldegad in 1991, Egypt was a secondary staging area for U.S. Air Force. Yeah. Huge. Mubarak, the governor. I hope uh, he does lose the election. Half Turk, half Kurd here. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Erdogan is a monster, personally. Armenian here, by the way. Uh, the governor, right? my father speaks turkish like i have nothing against turks however what occurred between azerbaijan with turkey and israel with the war in nagorno karabakh right uh, what occurred there uh, there were war crimes committed hardcore war crimes committed and erdogan is a monster there's no doubt about it right now who are the people that are going to be taking control? Are they U.S. puppets, Western puppets? If they're Western puppets, Turkey is about to go through some serious turmoil. My personal take is that Turkey might be balkanized, might be bark balkanized. Okay, but we'll see. Broccoli, Biji Biji Kurdistan, Biji Kurdistan. What is Biji? The governor. Then again, the reaction after the Istanbul mayoral uh, election makes me think Erdogan would rather destroy Turkey than lose the election. Yeah, yeah, I agree there. Erdogan will not go quietly into the night. There's no doubt about it, right? Zare, most wars by proxy or direct are started by private institutions that control politicians. We should do a map that re remarks which corporations by name uh, is behind each campaign i think it's more in corporations i agree with you corporations are the front people when they go in and they make the profits launder money through wall street but i think a lot of uh, lo uh, royalty are involved a lot of secret organizations are involved so i don't think it should be to a certain degree corporations indeed but i th i think it should be and it would be very difficult to do we would have many pictures and stuff but find out and there are maps of this available like um not maps but graphics of this available of who the people are that are that sit on which board of directors of which corporations right so there are people that sit on boards of directors of corporations multiple corporations and all of those corporations are involved in war propagating war right uh, starting wars conducting coups right like one of them would be blackrock blackrock owns most of a uh, huge chunk of fox huge chunk of dominion huge chunk of whatever whatever they sue each other but all they're doing is moving money around right so it's it's not like coca-cola had death squads in colombia right so Coca-Cola had death squads in Colombia because Coca-Cola needed to have access to water, right? So they were draining the water sources of farmlands and people rose up. 
you know, activists came up and said, hey, this is not good. Colombians need our water instead of giving it to Coca-Cola for free in their factory. And Coca-Cola hired fucking gangs and murderers to kill those activists, right? And that has happened with multiple corporations in multiple Central and South American countries, right? Ecuador, Banana Republic, right? The term Banana Republic comes, I believe, if I recall my history correctly, from Chiquita Bananas or something, where the government there wanted to keep, I think, one or two cents extra per pound or something, and the U.S. government overthrew the government, overthrew the government in Ecuador, and they called the Banana Republic, right? Put their own leaders in power, and that's what it is. So it's corporations, sure, but it's the people behind the corporations. Um, it's a difficult game, Zara. I know where you're going with this. Um, difficult, like Halliburton, for sure. I think there's absolutely nothing good about Halliburton, right? Who's on the board of directors there? Dick Cheney. Oh, Dick Cheney was on the board of directors, became vice president of the United States of America for eight years, and shit, <laughs> right? It's crazy. It's a gong show. What we need to do is decentralize the world, in my opinion, right? How do we do with the corporation, Zara? Right? Con Enzo, Enzo says, great point, right? So if we're going to do with a corporation, by the way, I have one of the flags. Um, if you guys know a company called Adbusters, it's a, it's a publication, independent publication, a magazine um, located in Vancouver that came out uh, pre 9-11 and they made it big during 9-11, revealing some stuff. Um, they used to have a flag. They used to sell a flag. I'm pretty sure they still do the corporate American flag. And I have one of those. So maybe we can bring that out and say which corporations are waging war where. Right? I got to find it first. I got to find it first. Plutonic Polaris. Uh, Erdogan has uh, had not very sympathetic uh, pol uh, politics often. But now he may be the target of anti-democratic regime change projects. Indeed. Indeed. Sorry, fuck California. Love the nature. The government is dog shit. Indeed. 100%. Broccoli. More unofficial basis. More unofficial basis. China only has one out of their own borders. Yeah. Oh, Eldegoth. Thank you. You know what? I got to zap that and include it as a command. Eldegoth, if you remind me, I'll do I'll try to remember to do it. Uh, safe zone civil war so blue safe zone yellow civil war um, orange actively supporting war and red war zone tin deros first time chat geopolitics on twitch grabbing popcorn awesome <laughs> nice <laughs> broccoli not considering the islands they're building belarus has been using refugees against eu countries yeah yeah so has turkey so so did turkey turkey erdogan used refugees incredibly well as a weapon against the eu right how many billions of dollars did he siphon out of the eu i mean whatever you say about erdogan he's a monster but he's a pretty smart monster right the governor and then right-wing politicians especially in the EU plus UK use the influx of migrants that their policies cause to justify atrocity against these people and foster xenophobia. Indeed. Indeed. One of the reasons, in my personal opinion, that they've allowed so many people to come into the EU and the United States is because they're going to take some of those people and put together a police force, right? Police force, right? To brutalize the citizens of EU when the uprisings begin and they've already begun right so once and this is a tactic that India has used for gen, for centuries for decades right for generations where they 
take a police force from one area and ship them over to another area to police that region because those people have no allegiance to the people living in that zone right and i think that's what the eu is planning to do and that is exactly i believe what's going to happen in the united states of america in the early 2000s there is a law that the bush administration passed right that any uh, illegal aliens they call them illegal immigrants illegal refugees that were in the united states they would be granted citizenship and anybody that wanted to come into the united states right as a refugee as an immigrant right if they want to get fast-tracked if they join the u.s military for service for i believe it was for five years they would be granted a green card that's something that came about during the bush administration in the early 2000s because they needed more cannon fodder for iraq and afghanistan okay uh, so that's something that these powers play with there's no doubt about it Elder God, economic replacement workers. Workers, yeah. But I think they're going to be more than just workers. They're going to be a blunt force of the tyr tyrannical state. Because the people coming in, they really don't give a rat's ass about the people that they're replacing. And would you? Right? If you lived in Libya and France, Italy, UK, and the United States came and killed your family if you made it here would you give a rat's ass about the french the italians the british would you care if the government if the tyranny right those in power came and said you know what we're gonna give you a license we're gonna set you up give you a weapon arm you up pad you up and go beat the shit out of the fucking residents would you care? I don't know. How about Mali? People from Mali, right? Congo, right? How about all the countries surrounding Lake Victoria where there's a documentary called Darwin's Nightmare? Really, check out this documentary, Darwin's Nightmare. And it's the story of all the countries surrounding Lake Victoria and Lake Victoria being uh, sort of treated as a food basket for Europe where they brought in this evasive species of fish and that's the only thing left there and planes go there and all the countries there surrounding Lake Victoria are basically there to fish this evasive species of fish and they load it on planes and they fly to Europe and feed the Europeans if you made it to here as a refugee and the government's gonna house you feed you give you spending money and give you a job to brutalize the citizens here that you've been feeding for decades and destroyed you, would you care about them just a question right just a question I gotta scroll down, gang. I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna scroll down. Uh, if there's anything directed towards me, please let me know. Zara, the term war crime is such a trip. Such a trip. War is a crime, right? Crazy. Balkanize. What does balk? Balkanize means basically take Yugoslavia, right? Yugoslavia was one country. During the Clinton era, they bombed the shit out of it and broke it up into pieces, right? balkanize means take a country and break it into pieces divide and conquer which is exactly what they want to do to russia by the way right the plan for russia is to balkanize russia so once you balkanize it you can create chaos draw boundaries borders uh, pit one uh, ethnic group against another ethnic group arm one disarm the other pass so basically creating chaos right so that's what balkanize means balkanize means break a region apart into smaller pieces so you can control it really outside forces micro to serbia croatia bosnia montenegro macedonia slovenia yugoslavia indeed 
No, no, Bulgaria was his own country. Bulgaria was not part of Yugoslavia. Bulgaria was his own country, micro twist. Da, 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 da. Enzo, love the stream. Me too. <laughs> Learned banana wars today. Fuck the war zone, Brooks. I learned about the banana wars today. Fucked up. Indeed. Indeed. Never buy Coca Cola now that I know this. Yeah, Coca Cola. By the way, Coca Cola is, I said, we talked about this in the last stream. Um, did I talk about it in the last stream or previous stream or something? Coca Cola has an acidity. Coke Coke Classic has an acidity of 2.5. 2.5. Right? Coca Cola has an acidity of 2.5. Right? Water is 7. 7.2. Let's say 7. So water pH is 7.0, let's say. 7.0 to 7.2. That's neutral water. Right? Coca Cola. Coca was a cola with a C or <laughs> I haven't drank Coca-Cola forever. Cola, right? Classic. Classic has an acidity of 2.5. Coca-Cola, the other one or whatever it is, is 2.7, right? pH. pH, right? So Coca-Cola pH of 2.5. Water pH of 7.0. 7.0 minus 2.5, right? 6, 10, 5, 4. 4.5. You want to know how much more acidic Coca-Cola is relative to neutral water, which is something good for the body, neutral or alkaline is better. More acidic, more cancer. Think that. Higher the acidity, the lower the pH, the more probability of cancer and internal organs shutting down, getting fucked up. You want to know how much more acidic Coca-Cola is relative to water at 7.0? This becomes this, 10 to the power of 4.5. 10 to the power of 4.5, right? 10 to the power of 4 means add four zeros. That's 10,000, right? If it was just four, it's 10,000 times more acidic than water. 4.5 kicks it up to around four or three, 30,000 times, right? 30,000, 40,000 times. Punch in your calculator. I'm going to put 30 to be on the conservative side, but I think it's closer to 40,000 times more acidic than neutral water, pH of seven. And in my personal opinion, the only thing you should use Coca-Cola for is to unplug the toilet. Okay. That's how acidic it is. Not good. Plutonic uh, Polaris. Balkan is, of course, a certain region. Definitely defined. But balkanized to me means splitting up a nation or state, etc., into smaller territories and creating conflict and weakening of that for, uh, former nation or region. Yeah. Yeah, Blackrock, Warzone, Blackrock and Vanguard, indeed. Blackrock was in Ukraine talking about, oh, how, what, what business they're going to do in Ukraine, right? Money laundering, Wall Street money laundering, right? Now, Russia is not going to allow BlackRock to get a foothold in the parts of Ukraine that they control. BlackRock wants the rest of Europe, oh, the yeah, rest of Ukraine, right? Now, are they going to be able to get it? If I was an investor in BlackRock, I'd pull my money out of BlackRock. Because in my humble opinion, they've bitten way more than they can chew. chew. Way more than they can chew. <laughs> Ronnie, long live Bitcoin. Coke seems to be platonic. Coke seems to be a problematic and woke in instrumentalizing corporations. Chris Key, hello again. I don't know if you remember. I'm uh, I'm the communist from Brazil. Oh yeah, I remember communist from Brazil. Indeed, 
but I can't remember. I, I didn't recognize your name, Krisky. But I remember the conversation we had, right? And you said Lula was not communist. I personally, Lula is World Economic Forum puppet to a certain degree. However, he's trying to play both sides now to a certain degree. Platonic <laughs> Forest, yeah. Our favorite Brazilian kami, indeed. Indeed. Oh, God. The term has has its origins in the development of banana plantations by American corporations and their exploitation of land and workers in Central and South America beginning in the late 19th century. Banana Republic. Da, 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 da. Positions in UK. Pa, 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 pa. Uh, Elder God. The boat migrants have been da, da, civil globalist oriented, I guess. Yeah. Elder God. The boat migrants have been said to be a secret civil force for the WEF when the reset begins. I already consider them a hostile group. Yeah, I think so too, Elder God. It's to a certain degree becoming pretty. Uh, we can't say that 100%. I can't say it 100% anyway. But they're definitely there and they could definitely be used for that. So, not looking good. Not looking good. Especially since the World Economic Forum is countries are sh destroying farms and preventing farmers from doing farming, right? So expect food shortages, major food shortages in Europe, which means there's going to be riots. Okay, there's going to be unrest and to crush that movement, people's movement, they're going to have to bring an army out into the streets. And they're already talking about an EU army. And what's that army going to be? I believe it's going to be a huge chunk of it will be uh, people that really don't give a rat's ass about the indigenous population, right? We see, we see, we see, we see. And by the way, I consider France now is a civil war. I'm adding yellow to France gang. France, in for all intents and purposes, as far as I see it, is now also a civil war okay because i don't see it dying down anytime soon lark bark the bush administration can go straight to hell for their neocon war crimes and human atrocities indeed all and all the administrations in the united states can go to hell really the 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 one that did the least amount of wars was the trump administration which is insane if you think about it Elder God, Link to Darwin's Nightmare. Thank you very much, Elder God. What a great movie. Elder God, have you seen it? A documentary, not a movie, documentary. Gang, I'm going to scroll down to see if there's anything uh, directed towards me. Global 2.5. That's an insanely low pH. I didn't even know that. And I drink it all the Yeah, don't drink it. Really. The, I stopped drinking Coca-Cola uh, 23 years ago in 2000. Okay. 2000 2001 stuff when i stopped drinking it i stopped getting cavities i didn't get cavities for 15 years after stopping drinking coca-cola right i used to drink a lot ph is log scale yeah yeah magic plants Six, 666 what has coca-cola to do with uh, world conflicts well death squads in colombia a lot of war uh instability has been caused by the u.s military on behest of u.s corporations as uh general smutley butler said right read general smutley butler's war is a racket general smutley butler came out and said he was just a blunt force brute force for u.s corporations as zari pointed out right that corporations are really instigating a lot of these wars right i'm scrolling down yeah i'm scrolling now availability how were you doing yo just woke uh, wake up the stream today didn't miss a nice availability welcome back <laughs> romantic walks to kfc salutations map quiz for you can you locate Djibouti on the map yeah Djibouti. Djibouti, 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 Djibouti. Where is it? It's here. Djibouti. 
We found it last time. <laughs> yeah, BlackRock, Ronnie. JP Morgan bought First Republic. Yeah, Ronnie. BlackRock owns thousands of homes, indeed. Probably into the tens of thousands. All right. I'll scroll on that to see if there's anything directed towards the map. Uh, ba, ba, ba. War Zone Brooks, Black, BlackRock and Vanguard own everything from what uh, I keep uh, I keep hearing, at least in the United States. I don't know about elsewhere, though. Obviously, if they're uh, fucking around in Ukraine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not just in the United States. They own much of Europe, BlackRock and Vanguard, right? It's uh, they own a lot of stocks in a lot of corporations and they slowly accumulate more and more stock and at a certain percentage of a share of a stock corporation that they own they become the dominant shareholder right or influencer you want to call it for that corporation and, and it's not much all you have to do is own like five seven ten percent of a corporation and you can pretty much dictate what that corporation is going to do right unless a lot of smaller players get together and vote you out or vote against you right the who is it the who is it that's what it was uh salutations for first time chat and thank you for the follow uh do you think astana will be the new global capital have you seen all new uh symbolism there i don't know i don't know anything about astana the who is it what's the what's astana are we talking about uh european union uh, astana i don't know astana fill us in uh the who is it anybody know anything about astana uh magic plants major fruit shortages in europe not really seems like he is uh, confusing us with Africa we are not major food importers uh, magic magic plants according to the dictates of the World Economic Forum farms oh Astana Kazakhstan oh I've heard about uh, that I didn't realize it was Astana uh, the name uh, I see it right there uh, is it going to be I've heard a, I've heard I've I heard a little bit about this read a little bit about this uh, I'm not a hundred percent convinced I'm not 100% convinced. We have to see how Taiwan plays out. Okay. We have to see how Ukraine plays out. If the West loses Taiwan uh, or uses, loses Ukraine and NATO is establishing a NATO base in Japan now, I believe, right? What the hell is NATO doing over there? And if they lose Taiwan, then centralized indeed, completely controlled indeed, which is one of the reasons the United States tried to overthrow the regime there. And it is a regime a few months ago and why Russia stepped in, right? Completely protected by China and Russia, central for all trade, especially going into Iran. So the location is crucial. Iran, China, Russia, right? You got... The pipelines going through Afghanistan and stuff. You got India, possibly, possibly. It's a long game. Uh, I don't know if we'll see it. I don't know if we'll see it. Okay. But other things have to play out, uh, fall into pieces before that can happen, right? Uh, other things have to fall into place. Uh, just regarding food independence of Europe, According to the World Economic Forum dictates, European countries have to shut down farms. In Holland, they're already shutting down, was it 1,000 or 3,000 farms? I can't remember how many thousand farms. They've said they're going to buy out the farms for 120%, right? So 20% more than market value. And any farmer that they buy out, those farmers will no longer be allowed to go into farming anywhere in the EU. So just imagine your profession is farming. 
You've been far farming family for generations. You've been farming and the government comes out and says, we're going to buy your farm for 120 percent. OK, so 20 percent over mark market value. If the farmer says no, the government's going to shut them down anyway. OK, so the government's going to shut you down anyway if you say no. So you either take the deal or the government's going to shut you down. If you take the deal, sign your name, you won't be allowed to farm inside the EU. Right. So that means if you want to get into farming, you're going to pack up everything you have. Get the fuck out of EU. That's going to create food shortages. Guaranteed, guaranteed, guaranteed. Inflation through the roof. Inflation through the roof. And 100% there's food shortages in Europe right now. In the UK, egg shortages. Okay. That we know for sure that there haven't been eggs there. So some days there are no eggs on the shelves. Right. Aside from that, there's been multiple sanctions packages against Russia. And from what we understand, the EU is about to put another sanction, secondary, 11th or 12th sanction, but a secondary sanction against Russia, sanctioning any country that is selling, dealing with Russia in terms of food. So if they're going to start sanctioning other countries, right, and other corporations that are dealing in food products with Russia, doing doing trade with Russia, that means a lot of food imports into Europe are going to trickle down to zero, right? Because corporations won't be able to sell food to Europe. Okay. Aside from that, Europe is not food independent. No way, no how. This, this Africa has been feeding Europe for decades upon decades, if not centuries. Okay. All the flowers that you see in Europe being sold in the corner stores, they're all grown in Africa and some in Holland, right? But a shit ton in Africa. We talked about it. Lake Victoria, major food source for Europe. Fish coming to Europe. Okay. So no, Europe is in deep shit. Look, gang, that has to be clear now, right? What's the civil war in Brazil right now? Well, it's calmed down a little bit since we talked about this. But Lula was threatening to put people in jail if they didn't take injections. Okay. There was questions of election integrity. They arrested a shit ton of people, threw them in jail. I don't think Brazil is clear from the civil war yet. Okay. Our favorite Brazilian, uh, 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 you're, you're talking about this, but for one understand, Brazil is not, uh, everybody does not agree in the direction that Brazil has taken. Is that agreed? Right. Some parts may, may seem calm. But certain parts, there are things brewing, right? Brazil, it, Brazil, along with many other countries, are on a teeter. Like Sudan wasn't a full-blown civil war when we were talking about it, but we marked it as a civil war because it was there, right? We could see it going there. Brazil very much has the potential to go into a full-blown civil war. Okay, maybe what we should do is make the yellow stickers bigger. Once it goes into a full blown civil war and have these little guys for the potential of civil war. Right. The governor, in all fairness, it wasn't for lack of trying in the Trump administration. He did stoke tensions with uh, with North Korea and Iran to try and win reelection. Indeed, indeed, he played it wrong on many levels, many levels. Okay, I'm scrolling down, gang. Uh, availability. They put uh, sucrose in new soda drinks and claim it's healthy because it has less sugar. But in reality, it fucks up your organs. Indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never drink, eat anything sugarless unless you unless you're diabetic or something. And you need to change your diet if you're diabetic. Uh, so, 
Ronnie, isn't it interesting how in North America and South America, every single country is suffering except America. America is suffering big time, Ronnie. It feels like U.S. took all the resources away from them. U.S. is in deep shit, man. U.S. is, US is waging war, supporting war, and pretty soon we're going to add yellow to the U.S. where it's going to be in a civil war. That's where the U.S. is in right now. So U.S. is in deep shit. I don't think I don't think everything else is suffering except for the U.S. I think U.S. is in deep shit. Right? But very much so. P.G. Styles, Rupert Murdoch, probably responsible for a lot of unrest around the world. Indeed, the media, the media in general, CBS, CBS, CBC, BBC. My God, BBC is one of the so much so much death and destruction in bbc's hands right Lark Park, i'm guilty of drinking coca-cola it is so addictive it is so addictive i used to love coca-cola and cheese puffs cheese man you if you need to change your habit your behavior for me it's like pulling off a band-aid just fucking do it man just it's your integrity, right? For me, one of the things that made me change my habit on certain uh, certain things I did, lifestyle choices that I did, was because of geopolitics. I found out that something I was doing was causing tremendous amount of death and destruction around the world, and the people in charge of this thing were murderous motherfuckers. And I just couldn't do it anymore, right? I just... I couldn't do it, right? It was the same type of story as Metallica, right? When they sued their own fans. I couldn't listen to Metallica anymore because fuck them, right? So I'm not going to uh, violate myself uh, because I'm addicted to something, right? Elder God, of course I've watched it. Oh, you've watched it. Darwin's Nightmare. I am heavy on watching documentaries both. Uh, secret armies and corporate power used to destabilize countries and infrastructures yeah 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 amazing movie darwin's nightmare amazing documentary i should stop calling it a movie vanguard owes a lot on us uh, owns a lot in australia too availability says right yeah goldman sachs oh my god wars on brooks yeah i don't think it's a Meme about Vanguard or BlackRock. Bah, 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 bah. I'm scrolling not to see if anything directed towards me. Um, I gotta catch up to the chat gang. Okay, I'm going fast. Sorry. Uh, Emerson's Ch Chicho and chat. Is there any more developments with Hong Kong and China? Feels like I've heard and I haven't heard anything about this for a long time. Here's the thing with uh, and that's this is another thing i wanted to talk about today as well right so we still have to decide what to do here because if if we're correct thank you very much uh for the follow ir rendax tax tax salute welcome to our live streams but well, check this out so in here china's bringing peace here china's bringing peace here you russia and china are bringing peace here so this area this is red might go blue dare we say blue we're long ways from blue because i think civil war is going to break out here civil war is going to break out in turkey yemen i think might go blue because once the civil war uh, that's my guess because the cia united states there's no way they're going to allow the House of Saud or the people that are controlling the House of Saud right now to completely decouple themselves from the U.S. dollar, right? And Turkey, will see how the elections go and what the reply is. This might go in regards to Turkey and Saudi Arabia instigating or supporting the war in Syria. Syria will still be red because of Israel. Israel is going full-blown yellow, right? So this whole area is going to change. The change with China and Taiwan, from what I understand, the United States is about to send a few hundred dollars worth of weapons to Taiwan. 
Taiwan is having elections this year in the next few months if, or if not the next few weeks from what I understand the party the people that are more China leaning are leading in the polls right so if the party that wants to have peaceful relations with China wins and the party that are US puppets right now the other ones you could say the Chinese puppets right if the party that's in control right now which is really a Western backed government loses and the government here changes where they're going to start leaning towards China how is that going to play out is that like the United States sending what was it 400 500 million dollars worth of weapons to Taiwan or selling that many that much weapons to Taiwan and the United States stationing troops in Taiwan from one understand the troops are already there officially there right so is this going to turn red many people are guessing they will many people are guessing they will me being one of them right so if this if is this going to turn red and is this going to turn not so violent right we know africa is already going full-blown proxy it's already it's sort of been a proxy but it's been an economic proxy war right between the west and china really russia hasn't really been too active in africa aside from diplomatic ties here and there but now with the deal that they're going to build a small military navy base in sudan this thing's gone red so how's the rest of it going to play out u.s already lost the proxy war in ethiopia they created a civil war there and it looks like they're they're losing because russia um, sort of played some games in the background right so emerson that's my take regarding and as far as hong kong goes right um how is that going to play out i think hong kong is pretty much china you can't it's going to continue to become less and less like for example hong kong at one point 20 years ago was how much of the gdp of china it was huge like enormous like was it 50 percent of china's gdp or 30 percent of china's gdp 20 20 at least 20 percent of china's gdp like 20 years ago now it's down to like what five percent of china's gdp or something and it's going to continue to diminish right reduce reduce so hong kong has been absorbed into the sphere of china there's no going back from that there's no going back from that right and i don't think a civil war is gonna break out there in terms of any unrest and whatnot they've already squashed that right elder god you will you will own nothing and you will be happy they're lying by the way about the happy part they're going to try to make sure you own nothing but guaranteed you won't be happy about it right netherlands netherlands i'm scrolling down gang i'm scrolling down lots of chatter i'm gonna see if there's anything directed towards me i'm trying to still trying to get to the bottom magic plant 666 flowers are not food we import maybe bananas and stuff like that uh from africa africa is a major importer of, of food especially grain eu makes its own necessarily food for the most part magic plants um that's changing we're not we're not here to uh, look at one moment in time we're trying to figure out how things are going to play out because this is in large part related to our economic stability economic well-being to our lives really if we want to protect ourselves our family our wealth we need to know where shit is about to happen not hear about it through corporate propagandas because once you hear about it on from centralized corporate propagandas it's too late to do anything about it right really it's too late to do anything about it my advice look sudan civil war now it's full-blown proxy war it's not going to calm down anytime soon 
and there's going to be no peace treaty anytime soon i don't think so right ukraine you don't want to be there you don't want to be here my personal uh, not advice but my personal take is this i would not want to be here if i had woot woot one 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 five salutations thank you for the follow if i had all of my wealth in europe right now okay all my holdings in europe all my connections in europe i was dependent on a pension i was dependent on a government being stable for me to make my living to feed my family i would be seriously reevaluating my economic decisions i would not want to be in europe right now europe is in deep shit from what i see europe is on the verge of collapse and it in my opinion it has already collapsed war is going to continue to break out if the world economic forum chewy four 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 thank you very much for the follow if the world economic forum psychopaths are allowed to do what they want to do to europe okay canada and the united states aren't much better but at least in canada we're not we don't have the possibility of rockets flying in violence is kicking up in canada by the way big time okay random violence united states big time united states is in trouble as well but united states is going to be the last of the western countries to collapse and canada does 80 percent of its business in the united states okay for us we have family in canada we're not going to elderly we're not going to be packing up and going anywhere else and i'm not going to get kicked out of my own country right europeans have to make the decision citizens of europe have to make the decision are you going to allow brussels unelected leaders world economic forum puppet masters to rule over you in the united states it looks like people are saying no they're not going to allow that to happen we'll see we'll see let's see what happens in europe the way they're going to bring out this great reset that they want to bring out they're going to impoverish you if you're in europe in the western world really and then they're going to offer the solution problem reaction solution we'll see where it goes we'll see where it goes scrolling scrolling i'm going now i've got to catch up to the chat okay here's another one sasalito salutations how are we doing hey chicho you get any good uh comic calls uh lately i got the uh what do you call it um uh, what's wrong with girls and i've been reading some of it it's fantastic like 1980s 90s comic book uh series uh story arc that came out uh cheap comics and i've been reading them really enjoying them and i just bought five comics uh mini series and uh, it's on its way here so as soon as i get it i'm gonna show uh what it is um i read the first issue i read the first issue from uh 25 cent bin that I bought a whole few hundred comic books from. So I've been going through those few hundred comics that I bought last year, a year and a half ago, I guess. Uh, so I've been reading 25 cent comics. Fantastic, right? <laughs> Amazing. I got comic book stations, like three different comic book stations in my house where I read comic books, right? Um, so I've been going through those and anything interesting that I come across that I like, I'm trying to get some of the back issues and read them. And this is one of them. I read the first issue. It was I liked it, it was really good. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. It's a more recent comic. Uh, when I get when I get it, I'll do a comic book haul on it. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm gonna gotta read first time chat. First time chat. Extra. Extraneous. The har. Extraneous. The har. Extraneous. The har. Hi. I want to offer promotion of your channel. Viewer, followers, of your channel bot. The price is no okay so this is a bot sensor to upload in jeopardy sensor to yeah no yeah uh, yeah we'll refrain from saying any words that must not be said thanks elder god 
Yes, Ed, how are you doing? Hi, Chicho. I finally got around to read 1984, and it is an incredible book. What would you say is the message of the book? Is it that you can't beat the system? Sorry if I'm asking uh, in the wrong stream. No, no, you're not asking the wrong stream. Uh, personally, to me, uh, yes, Ed, it's not that you can't beat the system. The message of 1984 is wake the F up because if you don't wake up this is the system that you're going to live under okay or future generations are going to live under so it's not a message of you can't beat the system the message is this is what they have planned it's up to you if you want to stop it okay that's the message and by the way 1984 orwell explains how they're going to go about doing it which is what we're seeing right now roll out right Take 1984 and Aldous Huxley, put them together, add a little bit of Brazil, the movie, not the, not the country. Last time I talked about Brazil, people went, Brazil's not like that. I'm going, no, Brazil, the movie, okay. Uh, Terry Gilliam, Terry Gilliam, I believe, right? Add those three elements together. This is what we got right now. This is where we had it. So not looking good. Krisky, okay, our fam famous Brazilian communist. Let's read this. Krisky, currently Lula, uh, currently Lula of the Workers' Party is in power. He has a history of uh, con con consolation with the bur bourgeoisie, bourgeoisie. I can't pronounce that. Uh, and just the, the communist term for the, the, the you know, uh, it's no wonder that the vice president is a liberal. Yeah. So you don't like Lula. Uh, that's what I mean. Most people here get uh, on their own accord. Well, information is important. I'm scrolling down. Oh, we're, uh, Krisky, I don't, I don't think there are U.S. troops. I think there are U.S. troops. They're only there, not as a fighting force. They're there as a training for the military that Taiwan is buying, uh, for the uh, hardware that Taiwan is buying, right? So I, I think it's only a couple of dozen. U.S. soldiers in Taiwan, right? So it's not a military force. They're military advisors, right? Same way a lot of wars break out in many different places. So that's what it is. So I'm going to read your full comment. Uh, Krisky, I don't think there are U.S. troops in Taiwan because it's Chinese territory. China said that if there was any U.S. intervention in Taiwan, it would retaliate. U.S. Marines are in the Philippines. They're in the Philippines for sure. But I believe there are U.S. advisors there, military. That's what I believe I heard from. Uh, uh, by the way, fact check me. Uh, check into it. Uh, I think who was reporting that? Either Durant or um, General that General But what's his name? I forget his name. Uh, or Scott Ritter might have been reporting on this. Eight countries have bases in Djibouti. China, U.S. included. Serious? Magic match? Maybe that's one way to avoid war breaking out in your country. Make sure every other superpower, every superpower has a military base in your country. Not good for the citizens, right? Not good for the citizens. Not good for the citizens. I got to get down to the bottom of the chat game. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Killer whale defender Chicho Chicho, when digital currency comes into effect, will it be impossible de to decentralize, or will black market systems of barter spring up? I black market systems of barter will spring up like mad, right? Like mad, right? They'll try to shut it down, but I don't think central digital currency. Uh, uh, they're gonna roll it out. They're going to try to bring it out once they collapse the entire system, right? And it's basically collapsed already. Uh, will it hold? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, there will be, and by the way, the way it's going to roll out, they're going to bring it out, right? Try to bring it out. Let's say bring it out. If they're successful, you're going to see the economies of the Western world completely, just completely collapse right because more and more people are using cash now so what's going to happen is a lot of small businesses are going to go completely under and then everyone's going to become dependent on the state for their livelihood right and slowly over the years the 
lifestyle and the standard of living is just going to completely plummet, right? Basically, USSR, right? So it took decades for USSR, the centralization of that system to completely collapse and the whole thing just crumble, right? We're in a digital era, right? It's going to happen a lot faster. We're in a quickening to a certain degree. So events that took decades to unfold in the past are just going to take months to years max to unfold in the present. So even if they roll out their digital currencies, it's all going to be fine. It's going to stabilize. And then I think that's when that's what's going to happen if they're allowed to roll it out. We'll see. I hope it doesn't happen, but it's going to be black market like for me. If they roll out this digital central currency, I'm going to go black market. There's going to be some of it that is going to be on their currency. But basically, on paper, most people's income is going to be showing half of what they were making before, right? That's GDP complete collapse, right? GDP collapses, your credit, like France's credit rating has, is it France's credit? Yeah, France's credit rating has already been downgraded by Finch, I believe, right? They took France's credit rating from double A positive to double A negative. So I think they dropped it down two notches, right? This is France, first world country, credit rating just dropped, right? That's going to happen to all Western countries if they're allowed to do what it is that they're planning to do. Okay, so we see, we see how it goes. We see how it goes. Um, I can honestly tell you right now, straight up, they take everything digital currency, my private students that I have, right? I'm going to talk to their parents and say, hey, listen, we got to make some other kind of deal, right? Either they end up, you know, for payment, I'll tell them to buy me a comic book, graded comic book, right? I'll say, okay, I'm going to teach you this long. This is how much my cost is. Here's a comic book that goes for that price for my payment. Buy that comic book and send it to me and I'll teach your kids for this many hours. Like literally barter system. If they want to stay digital, they do it. If they want to do something else, if they're I have I have I've had students where they've had their family was doing farming. I'll just get food from them. Right. That's it. The only thing that will be on the books is rent. OK, that's it. As far as I'm concerned, if I can manage it, if they all, if it all goes digital, if I can get all my food through barter, then it'll show that we don't eat anything. OK. Fuck centralization of power. China uh, magic plant says China literally lives 1984. So does Canada. Canada's 1984, just one step away, one step behind China. Pooh. Canada's on fast track to become China. Yeah, I agree with you though. Magic plants, China, 1984, full blown. I wouldn't say uh, in some cases even worse. Uh, 1984 was pretty fucking bad, right? Pretty bad. So, but China, no. Wow. I wouldn't travel to China. I wouldn't live in China. Ronnie Chicho, if you could recommend two books to uh, to someone to read, what would they be? Just two books from any genre? I would say read Dune. Okay. Frank Herbert's Dune. Really understand what Dune is saying. Spice is the life. Fear is the mind killer. Right? Read Dune. Another book, I would say read Jeff Smith's Bone. Because you, everybody needs uh, some fantasy, some amazing, uh, amazingness in their life. Thank you very much for the follow, Pink QB. Salute, salute, salutations. Cheers. I'm scrolling down, I'm scrolling down. 
Was there a first time chat? No, 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 no. Chicho, magic plants, Chicho. Real life lore makes some uh, in inter sign videos like, oh, I don't, uh, Djibouti. Oh, you can't provide links, uh, uh, magic plants. You're definitely welcome to post the links on our gilded server. Okay. So if you want us to check something out, only me and Moz can post links. That way there's no phishing, uh, you know, scams on our chat or our live streams. But you're definitely welcome to post links on our gilded server. Okay. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Scrolling down, scrolling down. Nap Fox. Fox. Chicho, since you asked uh, for it, in fact, checked checked you. Africa imports 500 million metric tons of grain, which is assumed to rise to about 55 million, and it will rise even more because desertification, etc. It doesn't sound like Africa uh, will feed EU. Uh, yes. One of the things about sanctions on Russia was Africa was being starved. One of the reasons Africa imports so much food is because of colonization, colonization, because of public governments, because of proxy wars, because civil unrest, because of assassinations and stuff like this. Africa has the means to feed itself 10 times over, right? Because of mega agriculture stepping in there, right? But just because Africa imports food, it doesn't mean it also doesn't export food products okay eu is not food sustainable they're shutting down farms don't look at this moment right now realize what's coming the world economic forum has dictated that eu countries shut down farms what do you think the effects of that going to be there's food coming from africa into europe I mean, shit, there's food coming from Africa into Canada. We, we have foods that we can buy in Canada that originate from Africa. They come from Africa. Chocolate is one of them. Like most of the cocoa in the world is, comes from this part of the world. Right? So it's not. And one of the reasons Africa imports so much grains and stuff like this is because there's cash crops. Right? that people are forced farmers are forced to grow they can make more money growing whatever that europe and the west needs than they could growing grains right so forget about grains as like for example ukraine used to be known as a bread basket uh, of the world because ukraine could grow enough wheat to supply the world can it still do that? Hell no. Poland, uh, Romania, and a couple of other countries just got the EU to allow them to ban Ukrainian wheat grains from coming into their countries because they were dumping it there. And by all accounts, it was toxic grains, right? So there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. It's not just the one metric that you're measuring there, which they import, you know, the grains, 500 million metric grains. Yeah. Do you know how fucking big Africa is? Do you know how many wars are being fought here right now? Do you know why the Congo, the Central African Republic, why this place, hundreds of thousands, millions of people have died in the last couple of decades? Why? Well, shit. Hop into your electric car and you'll know why. Look at your smartphone and you'll know why. You're looking at this on a computer, you'll know why. Because the West needs their electronic toys. The world needs their electronic toys. China needs to make them, right? So a lot of Africa has been sacrificed to feed the world whatever it needs, right? Rare earth minerals. Look at look at the article. Look here. I'm going to link you up to an article about Africa that I wrote in. I, I put together. I, it took me a few years to write it. I started writing in the mid 2000s. OK, if you go to my website, go to Africa uh, here. This is the link. Copy link. 
the future this is an article that i put together it's called the future of africa looks bleak here is why and this was i'm all the way down to the bottom gang apologies if i missed anything Boink. and this is it's it's marked 10 years ago uh 2020 uh 2013 2013 right take a look at that i said the future of africa looks bleak back then at the time this whole globalization was kicking up and a lot of people from africa were going oh no chicho you're wrong africa's great there's going to be a lot of investment in africa it's all going to be fine and dandy uh everybody's doing well there's a lot of money coming in factories are setting up i said no man this shit's not going well the west is not going to allow africa to rise right they still need it they need it for many things they need it for oil they need it for rare earth minerals they need it for specialty foods okay they need this right because they think they own it okay just letting you know it's not just about the grains and by the way russia from what i understand is sending free grain to africa many african countries oh god thank you very much for the 15 minute warning this time we're gonna have to do the 15 minute warning gang uns hero hero unsung hero unsung hero first time chat salutations salutations magic plants ukraine is the fifth largest larger uh, grain exporter after russia yeah used to be number one for winter stand used to be number one for winter stand unsung hero thank you very much for the follow salutations uh fox if africa has such great resources so valuable why can't they use it to develop use them to build products their their own uh you should realize that your argument make a uh, dude no you got to take it into consideration here i'll give you one example this is why here, here's one example extrapolate this out to countless decades was it in tanzania kenya i believe it was in kenya or was it sudan it was in sudan it was in sudan look sudan's proxy war in the 1990s 1998 clinton okay the united states and we corrected this i think it was an indian sea or arabian sea or something like this in 1998 i believe under the orders of bill clinton the united states sent a missile to afghanistan and killed a shitload of innocent people okay along with who knows some fighters and they also sent a missile to sudan i believe it was sudan and there was a pharmaceutical company chemical company in sudan that was providing east africa like east africa multiple countries with medicine with pharmaceuticals with um what do you call it fertilizers chemicals it was the only major chemical factory in this part of africa and they blew the fuck out of it okay they blew it up africans built it the americans blew it up what was the result well decades later years later animals died people died because they couldn't get their medicine crops failed because they couldn't get their fertilizers your whole idea that africa has lots of resources and stuff like this how come they can't grow their own food because these motherfuckers here the world economic forum the royalty and the globalists don't allow africa to rise that's the whole fucking point of africa to the Europeans and the globalists, right? What what part of Libya what was the country with the highest standard of living in all of Africa? Libya had a higher standard of living than most countries in the world, and the United States, France, Italy, and the UK sh fucking destroyed it for fuck's sakes. What are you talking about? Fucking the low iq level of people is through the fucking roof this shit pisses me off a little bit fuck sakes you know how many million people have been sacrificed in africa to feed fucking these colonial motherfuckers are you defending this bullshit fuck off clowns clowns fucking 
I swear, man. <laughs> Real Xenomorph. Ulysses Eagle of Freedom makes wonders indeed. Panic, how you doing? Oh my god, Africa must be subjugated by the World Economic Forum. Indeed, indeed. Chewy, I love it when people who look like they don't cause swear like a sailor. <laughs> I try to keep it chill. All right, Chewy. Ronnie. Damn, never seen Chicho this mad. I, you know what pisses me off, man? Is low IQ, club 70 people, fucking thinking they know how the world works because they read a statistic on a fucking centralized government's website and they regurgitate that shit. Africa doesn't send any food to Europe because they import 50 million fucking whatever of grains. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> it's, it's as simple as that. One statistic, right? I provided a link to my article on Africa. Look at the statistic that I dragged up. Okay, there it is in 2013 we're in 2023 and we've got fucking low iq people coming here and saying africa doesn't send anything to europe europe is food dependent while just in holland alone netherlands they're shutting down a thousand farms or three thousand farms or some shit like this world economic forum and their fucking puppets have come out and said you're going to own nothing and you're going to be happy They've come out and said, you're going to have to stop eating meat and start eating bugs. Well, here's my message to those clowns. World Economic Forum, fuck you. I'm going to eat meat to my heart's content and you can eat your fucking bugs and feed it to your, your little clowns that believe your bullshit. Meat is good for you, gang makes you stronger power up because you're gonna need it power up as the saying goes good times make for weak men weak men make for hard times Hard times build strong men. Fox, Chicho, another fact check for you. Fact check me, brother. Entire EU uh, has more trade with uh, Switzerland than with entire Africa, including... Oh, God. You're clueless, man. You're fucking clueless. Is that why? France said, send troops to Mali, and Mali told France to fuck off, kicked out the troops a few months ago. Right? What about all the minerals, resources, rare earth? Have you heard of Central African Republic? What the fuck do you think is going on there? Your fact check. What are you fact checking from? Fucking Facebook? You doing your fact checking from Facebook? Fucking hell. Damn. Damn. We got a Facebook clown here. <laughs> what a bunch of clowns. Baby nice. You have to ease the bugs. Yes? Unsung hero, Chicho. Were you located out of... Uh, where are you located? I'm in Canada. West Coast fascist nation especially british columbia pure fascist communist world economic forum tyrannical government here very bad very bad magic plants insects are a good source of protein actually no they're not no they're not protein for other insects maybe for you try digesting those shells right you know insects they have little shells those shells don't digest very well in your tummy you know cockroaches are fucking dirty they spread disease 
Did you know that? <laughs> Aussie pal. First time chat. Walks in with a bang. My new girlfriend eats my... Not bugs, that's for sure. <laughs> Pure species. You will eat the bugs and be happy. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> oh, they got... Uh, a quote I always remember, quote, the weak are meat and the strong do eat. Ah, <laughs> that was on a seriously woke movie. <laughs> Choking on that one. Hilarious. <laughs> Ozzy Opal. Ozzy Opal. To magic, magic pants. How many bugs you eat? How many bugs you eat? Depends. <laughs> What's going on in Sudan? Real xenomorph. What's going on in Sudan though? Wagner has some involvement. No, Wagner's involvement is minimal. Minimal, minimal, minimal. We're talking CIA, Russia building military base. It's. Uh, the West has been fucking with Africa for decades upon decades, and they thought they own it, right? They're losing influence because China, Russia, Iran, they're stepping in, right? Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a war zone until this whole balance of power comes back in again, right? Yeah, Wagner is a mercenary group. If you want to think about it that way, right? It's like BlackRock or BlackRock changed their name, right? BlackRock is a mercenary group. A lot of lot of countries are farming out their and corporations they're farming out their military activities to mercenaries. That's what it is. Wagner's population, from what I understand, Wagner has like six thousand soldiers or something. Wagner can't be doing all this shit. With six thousand people or ten thousand people, they don't. They don't even have ten thousand. So all this blame going on to Wagner is not it. Fox Chicho, my statistics are from Eurostats. Oh God, the official body raising trade related data within the EU. Total export from EU to uh, Switzerland was one hundred fifty eight billion. Export uh, to Africa total was. 155 billion including co okay here's the thing here's the thing ready fox there's a lot of stats that the western world brings out one of the stats that i looked at before right <laughs> it's insane right they say oh in what was it i can't remember where it was somewhere sub-saharan africa in a certain african part uh people live on their income is less than a dollar a week or something dollar a week something like this right while in canada their income is this much right or dollar a day they make less than a dollar a day in africa this part of africa they people make less than a dollar a day right meanwhile in canada people make i don't know a hundred dollars a day two hundred dollars a day so you would think that the standard of living and happiness factor in Canada would be a hundred times more than what it is wherever they were measuring it less than a dollar a day but that's their statistic right they're doing their measurements based on US dollars right if you live in a village of let's say farmers you have water source you have your family you have your food you have shelter you have schools your education and the community takes care of the community and there isn't any really stores where you can go buy Versace bags and shit right then you don't need a dollar a day you don't need any dollars really because the community is self-containing right they don't they don't need us what the fuck is a us dollar right have you ever uh, watched the movie gang watch this movie it's called the gods must be crazy it's an australian is it australian movie or new zealand i think it's an australian australian movie the gods must be crazy i've seen it multiple times right and it's about the indigenous 
people in Australia, where a bottle of Coca-Cola, of all things, love that movie, <laughs> falls from a plane into the desert, and the indigenous population pick it up, and they go, whoa, what is this? this is a piece of glass, and everyone's using it. Now, that community there, thank you very much for the follow, MAGA. Mega Trump save, 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 save America 2024. Right on. I got Trump, uh, what do you call it? The rookie cards. Look it up. Um, it falls down. And that village didn't use any dollars. Like the, if, you, if you went to that village and gave them a $1,000 bill, they probably use it as fire. Right? So it doesn't, didn't matter to them. Okay. So you have to be careful of the statistics that Western nations or any nation centralized power gives you, right? Because I, I'm a numbers guy, right? You can manipulate that data to present whatever information you want to your heart's content, right? It's look, man. Fuck, like, I'm so tired of trying to educate low IQ people like this that it's, in the last three years dealt with it and people regurgitating government bullshit, right? It's insane. It's insane. Uh, Emerson and Chicho, would you look at Africa, South America, and Europe as the battleground for the next five to ten years? For uh for the rest yeah 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 Europe hundred percent Africa yeah unfortunately unfucking fortunately right the United States and Europe are not giving up the ghost right they're gonna they're doing scorched earth they're gonna burn it down before they hand it over right and while they're doing this the lifestyle and life expectancy in the Western world is gonna start plummeting right and they're also putting p pieces in place to be able to suppress any resistance within the Western world, right? To become complete tyrannical states. So there's multiple things going on. We'll have to see how it plays out, man. We'll have to see how it plays out. The best way it can play out is we resist, right? And educate people. Uh, you know, I'm sorry to whoever this is uh, regurgitating government bullshit. Um, you know, I should be more patient with you, but man, fuck it. Uh, do as you wish Plutonic Polaris it's a fun movie I thought it was a try from Namibia or so I thought it was Australia I'm pretty sure it was Australia right real xenomorph Aussie pal thank you very much for the follow salute salute um, real xenomorph unrelated to Africa but related to China it's funny how CIA was quick to blame Saudi Arabia for finally Reopening ties with Iran, like U.S. eagles of freedom, is just <laughs> shameless. It's insane, right? It's insane. It's insane. It's insane. First time chat. Name, date, time. What do the bots represent? What do the dots represent? Dots represent. Um, what do we call blue? <laughs> Forget what we call blue. Safe zones. Safe zones. No conflict. Yellow is civil conflict, conflict, red, civil war. Yeah, safe zones, blue, yellow is civil war, red is hot war, and orange is actively supporting war. Okay. And gang, uh, we're going to call the stream, but we only changed two things here. We changed Russia to a hot war. It's no longer just supporting war. It's full on war. Sudan is full on war now, proxy war. Okay. I was hoping we would have come to a consensus here what we're going to do. And here. So these are the two areas that are seriously shifting. Really huge. We'll see where it goes. Major elections here uh, coming up in the next six days and next week. Major elections here coming up in the next few weeks. Okay. A couple of months, two, three, four months, maybe. Okay. Um, shit hitting the france uh hitting the shit in france we call this a civil war right once saudi arabia and yemen yeah hopefully yemen reaches peace hopefully hopefully once they sign a peace deal 
we're going to come in here and change this. Okay. Finger cross it goes through before they do regime change. The United States does regime change or head of regime change uh, in Saudi Arabia. We'll see what happens in Turkey. Major deal. And we'll see what happens there. We'll see what happens there. Aside from that, gang, let's call the stream. Let's call the stream. If you want to follow this work, if you want to know what this work is about, I'm on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. We also have the Substack page and a Subscribe Star page. You can definitely follow the work there. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, on Substack, and on Twitch, where we're live streaming, gang, thank you very much for the support. It is in large part because of your support we're getting that we're able to do what we're doing, as well as the handful of people that we have that are supporting us on sensor tube and we will be uploading this full live stream to sensor tube let's see where it takes us all right hopefully we won't get a strike we won't be we already shadow banned so we'll see i don't think they can shadow ban us more but we'll see we'll see right and gang to the mods to the mods to the mods elder guy you've been here thank you very much and there might be a couple of mods lurking gang mods thank you very much for having our backs It is in large part, really, because of the mods uh, as well that we're able to do what we're doing here and on Gilded. We do have a Gilded server. You're definitely welcome to join us there, share information, uh, and just question us. Talk further. If you think we're wrong, let us know we're wrong. First time chat. But PKO, PTKO, salutations. Welcome to our live stream. Thank you for joining us. Gang, we do announce these live streams half an hour to an hour before we go live on Twitter, Minds, Week Gap, Getter, and we do announce it on Substack Notes as well. For live streams, when we don't have any visuals, we do upload the audios to soundcloud.com forward slash Chicho as a podcast. And gang, do not forget, just me tonight. Cheryl is a church. Cheryl is a church. Awesome. Happy church going. <laughs> Brain time, Chicho. Why do you replace yellow civil war on Ukraine? Uh, please take that away. It's not correct. I am from Ukraine. We don't have a civil war. It's a war with Russia. It started off with a civil war, right? It was a civil war in Ukraine that kicked into a hot war. It was a civil war because the Ukrainian central government was waging war on Russian-speaking Ukrainians. So it is a civil war as well. There's no doubt about it, right? There, like there's Ukrainians fighting Ukrainians right now. This isn't just Russians in the war in Ukraine. It's not just Russians russians coming in fighting ukrainian ukrainians it's russian speaking ukrainians versus ukrainian speak like Zelensky, his first language is russian he had to learn ukrainian right and he from what i understand he speaks a broken ukrainian his first language is russian so ukraine is a civil war there's no doubt about it there's no doubt about it right uh so really that's what it is that's what it is, right? And gang, uh, hopefully we won't have to visit this uh, huge changes taking place, but we'll see. There's going to be a lot of changes taking place. Okay. Um, aside from that, gang, uh, I'll see you guys on our Gilded server. Whoop, over here. Burp, 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 right here. Okay. And thank you again uh, for being here and participating in the discussion. Uh, hope you guys have a fantastic Sunday. Bye, everyone.